What's going on boys? So today we're going to be looking at Rafa Sor Soris, I'm pretty sure it's called. Well, I'm going to have a look at his correct pronunciation before we get into it. Let's just call him Rafa for now. 5 foot 10 with high and medium work rates. He's a left foot with free star, free star. Obviously he is part of a new objectives. It took me around two games to get. Literally all it is is score 8 outside of the box goals. Can be with any player on at least semi-pro squad battles. So I was doing the Eredivisie uh, games and I literally just subbed on my Messi Ronaldo to give it outside of the box shot. So I essentially got him. I mean, it's like a, you could do it in one game if you were to get all eight in one game. But let's say you can get it in two games. That's 30 minutes and you get a solid Portuguese left back. 88 pace. Uh, his dribbling is standard. Like, honestly, looking at his stats, he, he's not got a single stat over 90. So he doesn't look like he's the most, you know, meta card. Like, he doesn't look, you know, so, so insane. This is going to be a very good left back. But he looks really, really okay for 30 minutes worth of gameplay. 88 pace. Now, I've gone for an anchor for the chemistry style so he goes to 93 pace his passing is quite standard to be honest 82 short passing long passing is 75 is not great but 86 crossing dribbling as well definition of bang on average with 83 agility 83 balance 85 reactions is actually really nice defensively he looks really really good especially with the anchor chemistry style boost he does go to like 98 slide tackle uh, 95 st stand tackle 87 awareness I'm pretty sure and 88 interceptions physical as well he gets a plus 10 strength and a plus 5 aggression so he'll be going to 83 strength strength and 86 aggression um no player traits for him sadly today but honestly i'm interested to see how he performs for me three star skill moves is the only thing that's a little bit of a worry for me because personally i know not you know everyone has a you know necessarily wants or needs a four star skill as a fullback but personally i do like having the four star skills as a right or left back now before we get into this an update on the player review leaderboard currently in first it is david janola followed closely in second by rule breakers arnautovic and in third in form David Alaba. Remember player review ratings are based on how they perform for me and also their value right so obviously David Ginola would be like a 9.9 .9, but once he's so expensive he's a 9.4 because of value um, if you guys get that and, and that is why you know David Alaba in form is so high up in third is because he is very solid in game and he is like 20,000 coins an absolute steal. You guys get the gist of it let's get into review. Right go and start making that run. Right, got Rafa here with a touch. He doesn't feel, obviously he's got, what, 92 pace, 93 pace with an anchor. He does win us the corner there. Uh, I don't know, 93 pace with an anchor. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, but it's just not, you know, like insane, insane. Sure, you could go for a shadow and put him to 98 pace um, and give him that defensive boost, but he's going to miss out on that plus 10 strength. And he's only got 73 strength as it is. So I feel like that uh, that anchor boost of a 10 strength would be much, you know, very useful. But let's see him here. Can he give a tackle through? Jockeying, he feels quite good. My opponent gets a cross through, and that's a goal. Unlucky. Unlucky. I mean, not ideal. Um, his jockeying, that's what jockeying, right trigger, left trigger jockeying, feels relatively good with him. Um, that's just down to, you know, him being relatively short, solid body type, feels okay on the ball. He'll be relatively responsive in that sense. Let's give it up to him. You try uh, cross the pitch with it. That's his, that's his weak foot, his three-star weak foot. Really, really solid cross. That was just a, uh, a uh, X cross or a square cross if you're on PS4. Right, with the touch. Sets out the, you know, agility, balance, reactions, ball control. Feels not bad. Feels relatively good. I feel like him being like five foot seven or, I've, or I don't I don't know is he five seven? I can't remember. I think he's like five. Is he? He's between five seven or five ten, right? So he's not too tall, and I feel like that that definitely does him some justice uh, with how he feels on the ball because you know small body type feels good on the turn. Hey, we love that interception. Get it out as well. That is absolutely huge from him. Uh, he got, first of all, the interception. Great ball control to keep the ball, and then obviously cleared it out. Right, Rafa. And what's the play here? We've got time. Once again, you know what? Let's go for a bit of a run with him. I mean, not too much of a run. We don't want to get too cocky. Makes it overlapping as well. Go on, we'll time that. Can you get that ball through? It's a solid ball. It will do. David can't quite run into it, though. But nonetheless, I'm actually really impressed with him so far. He feels relatively good on the ball. Better than I was expecting, because he's only got, like, what, 83 agility, 82 balance. I was feeling, I don't know, I was expecting him to feel the definition of average on the ball. But like I said, his body type definitely does him justice. He feels relatively smooth. Right, first half is over, and the halftime thoughts on him, really impressed with him. Um, as I said, we've kind of gone over it. His passing has been really nice. I believe he's free for free with passing. He's got an interception. And other than that, I think he feels really nice on the ball. Solid half. Let's see what the second half brings. 
Right, boys, so basically, just before my opponent, or sorry, Rafa, for me, got a beautiful assist, but my opponent, who I'm currently playing, his friend, was obviously sitting there, probably on his PlayStation or his PlayStation app, and he was, uh, he, he was literally spamming me with messages, some very bad things that I, I can't show, um, so, yeah, literally, it was, it was taking up my whole thing, um, so I'm gonna have to, I'm, I'll cut that part out, but what I'll do is I'll show you guys a replay of his very, very good assist that he got. Go on, Rafa. He's going for a run. He's still going high. Finding his tackle. Got a little bit too cocky. I should have just passed it. Before one up, I wanted to see what he could do. But nonetheless, once again, he feels really, really respectable on the ball. I, I think he's had a really good game. I'm actually impressed with his card. All right, so as you can see, we had to cut this out. But Rafa made a beautiful run down the side, as you can see. Like, he came from the left-back position to make this run, which is absolutely beautiful. He keeps going through. We dinked the ball over the top, and we won it in the air. It just it snuck its way in. So that, we had to cut it out. But that is an assist for him, and it was a beautiful assist as well a prime example of what he offers going forward we're currently attacking so i believe he was overlap and balanced and he's making that run in that gap which is absolutely class from him boys as you can see he actually got two assists uh i don't know where that second assist came from but he's got two assists in one game from left back. That is absolutely unbelievable. I, I have no clue where that second assist came from. But nonetheless, boys, let's hop over to the pros and cons screen. So starting off, obviously, PS4 and Xbox price is an objective. Is roughly 30 minutes of a grind as long as it takes you to get out, eight outside of a box goals on at least semi-pro. You could literally get it in one match if you if you really can, if you're good enough to do so. Um, but starting off with the pros, we are going to go with his pace. Now, his pace of AK, it's not crazy, but it's definitely one of the highlights of his car. Also, his dribbling and his defending and the 89 stamina. I feel like the other three highlights of his card, yes, his card's nothing crazy, but if I, like I said, had to choose some good stats, it would be his pace. His dribbling was actually really respectable with 85 reactions, 83 agility and balance. Defensively, he was absolutely class. He goes to 88 interceptions with an anchor as well, and his intercept interceptions were absolutely uh, unbelievably good. Um, now, honestly, like I said, his assist was very very nice like running 40 he picked up two assists for me in one match and obviously i showed you guys the first one not sure where the second one came from or maybe the second one was you know the second one or my first assist that i showed you guys was actually the second assist and i just didn't pay attention to the first goal i'm not even sure if you guys you know picked it up i'll, I'll watch it back and see where he actually got that assist but nonetheless boys the only con i could find with him is 75 composure i mean it's gonna you know bite you in the ass sometimes other than that he's like an average card there's not too much wrong with him but there's nothing crazy with him he's not a left back that blows me away but i'm like wow this is so good you must get him he's one of the best left backs i've used um in fact he's an average left back he is well no he does his job quite nicely right he's not bad he's not amazing um but the beauty of him if you are doing these portuguese objectives you can link him into uribe i'm pretty sure it is or matthias or you can link him into he gets a strong link to rafa and as you can see obviously on the right uh for the links we have gone for rafa um now obviously he i know he's a right mid but you could probably play Rafa at left mid on 7 chemistry who gets that strong link down to this Rafa card this Rafa Soria's card I should say um, or you've obviously got Pepe who is a cheaper option he's like 2,000 coins 80 rated centre back or 82 rated centre back I think he is something like that um, he's obviously a cheaper, cheaper option but he does get a strong link into him as well so he's got some really solid links in that aspect and with these new objectives you can grind if you're going to be making like a Liga Nos or Liga Portugal it's called now hybrid he'll definitely be a very solid left back and without a doubt the best left back in the league of portugal league but nonetheless boys overall 30 minutes to get do i think he's good i think he's average but the fact he's only 30 minutes and you can use him for you know like lincoln with all of these new cards i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10 i think he's a respectable card and i'm gonna say he's worth a grind i hope you guys did enjoy it's been your boy davis and until next time see you later boys